Welcome back to the Everyday Grind. Happy Wednesday. How are you guys? Day before Thanksgiving. Not too sure how it's going to be. For me, this week has been actually quite slow. Um, haven't done much on Instacart. I'm at 144 and change. Uh, Walmart Sparks, I did one for like 30 and something for a grand total of like 180.25 for the week. Um, not too sure what to expect today. So today's goal, we're going to make it 125. I don't think I'm going to spend all day out. I might probably uh, stop around three or four, depending on how the day's going. I know Costco's going to be crazy, so I don't know if I want to deal with all that right now today. All right, until our first pickup. All right, let's tell you what's been going on. Man, it's been a while, but at the Costco drop, nothing was dropping on my end. I'm talking to my girlfriend, she's in uh, Marina, and that same thing there, nothing's dropping. Well, after 10 o'clock, she ended up getting on the chat, and then she starts seeing some stuff. I think five or 10 minutes later, I start seeing some stuff. Nothing worth taking. Waited till like, what, 11 o'clock, was about to head out, and then the drop in is 46, going 5.5 miles, total of 14 items, 17 units. And I'm like, okay, let's grab it, because it won't be that bad. Uh, went inside, first thing they had on there was turkey. I saw, it. I mean, I had right to the turkey aisle because I know there's probably gonna be any, if not nothing at all. Sure enough, there was not one single turkey there. So um, he's like, oh, can you get me this? If they don't have it, I'm like, there's no turkey. Like, I'm telling you, they're out of turkey. Anyways, had to refund that items. Was able to find everything else. Um, it took me a total of 18 minutes to shop the order. Making my way to uh, actually GameStops right now because I stacked it with the Walmart Sparks for $55. It is a little far, it's going like 18 miles, but that's all good for $55, definitely taking it. Anyways, we're gonna go pick up that GameStop, drop off these Instacart orders, and then uh, pretty close to my goal of 120 already. All right, guys, let's get going. Access road, then turn left onto Camino de la Reina. All right, just picked up turn that GameStop order. It was really weird though because when I went to the store, it wasn't recognizing that I was at the store. It's telling me the store is like another uh, three minutes away. But I had to walk literally right out to the spot where I was right over the marker to um, confirm the order, then walk back into the store. So it was, that was a little annoying, but they only picked up one little game. It's right here. So. $55 to drop that off? Give it to me any day. All right, we're gonna make our way to our drop offs and I will see you guys after. just dropped off that first Instacart order. Make my way to my second one, which is eight minutes away. just dropped off that last Instacart order, making my way to my GameStop drop-off. Batch price came out to be $43.42. All right. I just dropped off that um, GameStop one. 
uh, brought me up to close to Carmel Mountain. So I think we're going to go to Carmel Mountain and see if we can pick up a batch from there. All right, guys. So I was going to go to Costco. Just started turning up towards Costco. And then this dropped $65 going 22 miles. It is going back into San Diego, which is towards where I live. 45 items, 71 units. It's a triple shop. I grabbed it. I didn't want to chance it. So we're going to head over to Stater Brothers right now and go shop this order. finally finished shopping that batch which was not too bad considering i've um, never shopped with stater brothers like a full batch like this a triple batch um no refunds which was really good did have to replace a few items i'm not going to go into all the details of which one but i did have to replace at least five of them um overall not too bad um it, the store was set up pretty nicely everything Turn was like onto carmel mountain road for the aisles, if you said it was in aisle six, they were in aisle six. So, which was really good. 800 feet, use the left two lanes to turn left onto Rancho Penasquitos Boulevard. I'm making my way now to my first drop off, which is 14 miles. But like I said, it was 22 miles going into San Diego, back towards the house. Use the, the left house. two lanes to turn left onto Rancho Penasquitos Boulevard. And I'm, so I couldn't complain. I mean, it was a good batch, $65 going back into San Diego where I live. Come on, who wouldn't have taken it? Anyways, we're gonna get it dropped off. I might try to do one more. If not, then I will just wrap it up and then we'll call it the day. So we just dropped off that uh, first delivery. No issues. Um, making my way to my second one, which is 10 minutes away. Uh, another five miles. So we'll get that dropped off and then head towards our last one. I'm gonna turn on Walmart. Take the next right onto Genesee Avenue, then use the right lane to take the California 52 West Rail. All right, like I was saying, I was gonna turn. I'm gonna turn on Walmart Sparks towards my last one hopefully i can pick up something from there as well all right drop off two done Heading my way to number three, our final one, which is 2.2 miles away, roughly eight minute car drive. Take the next ride onto Soledad Mountain Road. We'll see you guys over there. dropped off that last one still waiting for the final numbers to come in on that let's see yeah still waiting says still pending pay so when it comes in i'll let you guys know how much that batch price was 
gonna head towards actually going to Costco Marina because I need to use the restroom really bad. So we're gonna go use the restroom there and hopefully um, pick up something really quick that will take us home. All right, guys, the batch price on that one came out to be 64. Let me see, 64, 66. But look at this Walmart Sparks, man. Since I turned it on, it's been going like crazy. Now, the only downside is a lot of these are shopping orders. They're not curbside pickup. I don't try not to do, I try not to do a lot of uh, shopping orders unless it's like um, like 10, between, I would say between 10 and 20 items only. Um, but besides that, I really don't like to shopping, uh, especially at Walmart. But um, pick up the curbside, definitely will do that any day, as long as the mileage is right and the dollar amount is right. All right, well, we're gonna head over to Costco. I'm gonna use the restroom, like I said, and then um, sure, I will see a batch here or there. But I don't know if I'm gonna pick one or take one, but we'll see. All right, guys, so we did pick up a batch. We picked up a $46 batch going 12.3 miles. As you can see, both customers are pretty much neighbors. Uh, total of 19 items. I can't remember how many units. I think it was 29 units. Um, did have to refund a few items. So I had to refund a chicken pot pie. Had to refund a cranberry sauce. Actually, it was only two. I'm surprised. I thought it was felt like more, but only those two items. Uh, shopped it in 22 minutes going to drop these off right now run over the numbers and call it a day wow did not expect to have a great day like i did today like my my mindset was probably be done by three mile. turn right onto the garnet avenue ramp to i-5 doing one or two batches only but turned out it was going really good so i just had to continue but, but walmart sparks it's still going off like crazy turn holy right crow all right, let's get these dropped off, run through the numbers. All right, guys. just dropped off that last order uh, customer a gave me $20 cash tip so that batch price went from let me pull it up here from a 46 to a 66 cannot complain what a way to finish off the day all right let's run through the numbers how did I do all right an instacart end up doing a total of three batches only picked up my first one at 1109 well after the Costco drop for $43 then I came back, sorry, I didn't come back actually. I picked up a $55 Walmart Sparks from GameStop, one item, one drop off. Took me up into uh, Carmel Mountain. Then I picked up a 65 Stater Brothers that brought me back into San Diego. It dropped down to 64, 66. And then I had to use the restroom. So I went up to Morena because it was the closest uh, Costco. While I was in there, I picked up this 46, refunded two items, dropped it off, $20 cash tip on the first one for $66. So what does that mean for the day? Well, let's run through the numbers. Instacart, with the cash tip, $174.44. Walmart Sparks for that one delivery of $55.99 for a grand total for the day, guys, four batches later, $230.43. I mean, would I thought I was gonna make $200 today? Hell no. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I wanna see more videos like this. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, just click on that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when you get killer videos like this coming out. And don't forget, Keep on grinding. Yeah,